It's Teresa from SmokingHotCigarChick.com. Today I'm here with Ken Jacobs, owner of Santa Barbara Cigar Shop here in Houston. And Ken, thank you for being with us here today. It's a pleasure. I like to save my bands, especially the ones that are my favorites. If I can come in to you and say, hey, I like the cigar. I can't remember the name, but I have the band. I'm sure that helps you pinpoint more of the flavors and styles. That helps quite a bit. There, you know, there are, there are some people who literally keep uh, little diaries, um, but there are very few people that do that very much anymore. Um, mm -hmm. Basically, people will come in and say, you have this, or this is a cigar I like. And from there, you know, there's some, I'm not a shop, and there are not that many shops that carry absolutely everything under the sun, because there's something like 2,400, 2,500 different <laughs> cigar, premium cigars on the market in the United States. Um, basically, any good store, any good shop tries to carry a range of price, uh, taste blend, and, and variety in there so that you can pretty much give them something that comes close to that. That doesn't mean they're going to stick with that same blend forever. Uh, there are smokers who smoke the same cigar day in and day out, uh, which was the habit 50 years ago for most cigar smokers. There's so much variety on the market now that it's, it's rather you know, you're cheating yourself by absolutely limiting uh, just to that. There are different kinds of cigar smokers, just that there are different kinds of drinkers and uh, eaters and, and anything else you can imagine. Um, and there are some people who just like to smoke the same thing day in and day out, you know, all day long. There's other people, we have one customer here, who want something different basically every day. <laughs> uh, it's the new experience, you know, with, you know, within reason, the new experience always, even if it's a terrible cigar, at least it's something you've never smoked before. So it runs the whole gamut. Yeah, I think you find a lot of people, especially nowadays, they're becoming more open and exploring their taste and with food, with wine. You see more shops opening all over. So I think cigars are a great place to explore and find out more about what your tastes and flavors are about. Absolutely. So talk to me more about flavors. Um, what should a new cigar smoker look for in a cigar? What uh, styles or things should they be aware of when they're exploring? Uh, in cigars, there there are two basic categories that, that we should clear up uh, from the get-go. There's strength and there's flavor. Mm -hmm. A cigar can be extremely strong and not very flavorful, and vice versa. Correct. Um, the issue the issue for the for the um, for the new person or for the experienced smoker is that they're looking for flavors that match their palate. They're not necessarily looking for a stronger or milder cigar in all cases. They're looking to, you know, get a different, and, and it will also depend on their mood. Mm -hmm. uh, I have, I, my moods change from, from the morning till the evening. I don't smoke the same cigars in the morning that I smoke in the evening after dinner. Uh, there are some cigars literally that uh, have more flavor than I can handle <laughs> at a certain time of day. What, you, what you've eaten and drunk uh, will also have an effect on the flavor of the cigar. Mm -hmm. So not that you are aiming at matching the flavors of the cigars exactly, but be aware that that same cigar um, drunk after a, a glass of Cabernet uh, is going to taste different than after a whiskey or a beer or diet soda or whatever because your pH balance changes. You've changed your pH balance with your food, which then um, all the work that goes into pH balancing to, for flavor in cigars gets altered. So in, in a lot of cases, uh, you try a cigar, you're not particularly that fond of it. You know, there's thousands of other cigars out there, but you may still be missing out on one of your favorite cigars. Mm -hmm. Usually we say that you should try a cigar at least twice if you think there's any reason you might like that cigar based on price or your experience with a, a similar cigar. Uh, you're, you're basically looking for what you like. That, that can't be stressed too, too much, is that uh, one shouldn't be bullied, so to speak, into cigars that everyone else smokes. Or uh, you, you take recommendations and you're happy to, but you need to be brutally honest about whether you like something or not. And not to be embarrassed that this is the most famous cigar in the country, or to choose a fantastic example, which obviously we can't legally smoke here in the United States. Cuban cigars. There's a cachet about Cuban cigars because they're forbidden fruit, because they're illegal, that they're somehow at this uh, point better than any other cigar. That was true many years ago. It's not true anymore. 
And I know a number of customers who are honest about it who say after smoking 10, 20, 30, 40 Cubans, they don't particularly like that taste blend. But there's other people who would be hesitant to say it because they feel that they're going against the grain, the popular myth that those cigars are better. And you should apply that across the spectrum. And when somebody gives you a cigar, you smoke it. If you don't like it, you don't like it. It doesn't match the kind of flavor that you're interested in. And uh, for the most part, most cigar smokers, or at least in our club here, um, they, they pretty much are live and let live mm -hmm. as far as mm -hmm. what people's tastes are. Um, there's just one or two cigars, and if somebody lights them up in here, um, you're looked at askance you know, to get into those. I haven't seen that yet. <laughs> it can happen. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. There's no reason to limit yourself, especially if you feel embarrassed. I mean, size, color, style, it doesn't matter as long as you like it. That's what it's all about. Someone else's opinion doesn't matter if you don't like it. I mean, it goes with anything else, too, I would hope. Certainly. And uh, for, for the women who come in and look for cigars to smoke, for the most part, they're looking for a, a Corona-sized cigar, a smaller, thinner, more delicate cigar. Um, and that's fine, there are some fantastic ones on the market, but they will ultimately, if they keep uh, being interested in it, they'll be limiting their taste range there to, right. based unfortunately on how the cigar feels or looks mm -hmm. in their hand. And, and being um, being self-conscious about how one looks uh, can you know, cut off a big part of uh, your potential experience. But there are guys, I'll give you an example, the cigar you're smoking is uh, of called a Lancero, yes. and until uh, uh, an article in a very famous magazine last year, most men would walk right by Lanceros because of the way they looked, they didn't look like real cigars to them, they were too thin. They felt too elegant and too uh, Yeah, the, the elegance thing was not, not real popular with a lot of the guys. This article was written and then suddenly uh, we couldn't keep enough Lanceros in the store. <laughs> because they took their cue from a lot of the rollers uh, who like to smoke Lanceros because of the ratio that there's a lot more wrapper to filler and binder ratio. You get a lot of taste out of the cigar. So then suddenly guys weren't embarrassed to be asking for Lanceros all of a sudden. Suddenly it's okay. <laughs> yeah, but see, guys go through the same exact thing. Guys need to, you know, look like guys with cigars in their hands and, and women might, might feel that they need to look like ladies with cigars and you know it's it's a tasting experience really and it's not a you know you're not on camera when you're smoking for the most part you're among friends right you can appreciate that you're enjoying that cigar it doesn't matter theater. whether it's a you know a lancero or something you know with a giant ring gauge it's like having a beer or a wine i mean it doesn't matter the kind the kind of glass you're holding or the color of the drink it's it shouldn't no yeah, there's different moods there's different styles and i think they're all they all have their their pros and their cons and something to appreciate.